there's character involved with what happened in the Max Holloway Justin Gaethje fight. You've never seen either one of them in a boring fight ever. So they fought this at lightweight. Max is known as one of the greatest featherweights that'll ever be in the game, that has ever been in the game. Gaethje is like the most violent lightweight that has ever graced the game. They're both stand-up dudes, both very respectable dudes. But at this point in the fight, it was clear that Max was going to take the win on the judges' scorecards, right? It was a clear victory for Max that he was going to win on the judges' scorecards. So that means that throughout five rounds of this fight, everything that he accrued, all the points that he built up, all the good grace that he built up to his victory, he gambled it in the last 10 seconds, right? Now, there's a thing that old classic MMA fighters used to do very often, and it was this. They wouldn't acknowledge it. They wouldn't call each, out, call each other out for it. But when the 10 second bell would go off, they would just close their eyes and throw their hands at each other, right? This is not new, what they're doing right now. This used to be done a lot, all right? But it was done in a different way. The bell would go off, they would plant their feet and throw shots at each other till it was over. Somewhere along the line, that started fading away from the game. The game became more technical, right? But at this specific moment here, or, or a couple of times, Max has done it recently. Like in the last five years, he's done it like he did it against Lamas, where he'll call you out to the center of the ring for the last 10 seconds and just, let's risk it all. Let's leave it all in here. With this, Max was up and he risked everything that he had built in this fight in the last 10, 10 seconds and he invited Justin Gaethje to the center to stand and bang. And his response was, I'm sure if Gaethje was up on the cards, he would have offered me that 10 seconds. Max is definitely giving him the opportunity. Here, bro, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take this all away from me, right? I respect you enough that I'm going to give you a shot at a Hail Mary attempt to win this fight. And it looked like this. Check it out. Points at the center. Let's go. Steps back. No, center. Dang. Banana. Probably the greatest finish in UFC history. Probably the greatest knockout in UFC history. What, one and a half seconds left? They decide to square up in the center and it goes down like that? BMF title! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Oh my goodness! Look, forces it, points at the ground, and they just decide to wing it. And then Max In that exchange, could have gone different. Could have been Gaethje connecting instead of Max. Gaethje could have pulled his Hail Mary shot and cracked Max right on his shit. Mind you, Max never been knocked down. He was what looked to be knocked down in this fight, but they didn't record it as a knockdown, and he said, I'll take it. It was a slip, <laughs> all right? But think about his career. Think about Max's career. Those who know Max, if you don't know him, go look him up. Think about the people he's fought. And to say that he's never been knocked down is crazy, but it's the truth. It's nuts. But at this moment here, Justin had just as much chance as him to land the Hail Mary and knock him out. He gambled that. He respected him enough to give him that opportunity. Max catches him right here. There it is. Oh. Lights out. Just slapped him. My goodness. Clean as can be. And the accumulation of damage was too Bruh. much for Gaethje to take. Holy smoke. And this was a fight he where slid. everybody he thought unfolded like a jackknife. He was not outdone. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Look at this right hand that ends it. Right here. Oh. Wow. And what a result. What I mean, a result. what a result. Unbelievable. And on the With biggest night second. of the year. Look at the clock. 3. I mean, these guys are winging. 2. Boom. 
second before the gun. Mark got it, waved it off. People make fun of Daniel. Oh, Daniel's always crying. Daniel Cormier. Look, Daniel wants to cry. Nah, man, that boy's looking at his friend put his shit on the line to be a warrior, all right? And if that brings a tear to the man's eye, go on, tell him about it. See, he don't rip your fucking arms out the socket. You know what I mean? Like, complete oh astonishment inside yeah, yeah. T-Mobile Arena. And on top of that, Gaethje looked like he unalived right there at that moment. Max points at the center right here. Come on, bro. Gaethje obliges. Gaethje obliges. They whiff at each other, right? Gaethje takes a step back, and Max reignites the center or reiterates, uh-uh, where you going? We're going right here. We're doing this. Points back down. No, right here. Go gives him a body shot in here. One, two in the body, one in the body, overhand right. Damn. Sheesh. That's warrior shit right there. He gave that man his opportunity. He said, here's your chance. I mean, what's going through your head, right? Because you're clearly ahead on the scorecards at that point. I mean, we've seen you engage in the center like that before, but a guy like Justin Gage is even more dangerous with guys that you've done in the past. What's going through your head in that moment? Yeah, you're like, that, this is the moment. This is, the, this is what BMS is going for. First of all, I want to change the I want to change the name to Blessed Man Forever. That's what the belt means when I hold it. Blessed Man Forever. But uh, if that's not a BMF moment, I don't know what is. If the cards are slip and Justin was up, if he felt like he was up, uh, I knew he would give me that 10 second shot. So he's a bad man, and, and I don't know if I ever want to share an octagon with him again. He's a legend, brother. This is the type. Of, this is the type of fights. This is the type of stuff you do to edge your name in the history books. And. Uh, I'm just happy that I was the one landing, you know. He he, he missed some shots. I, I was getting hurt by the wind of his shots, but that's how hard he hit. The, the Salute to Max Holloway, man. It was just some stand-up shit, some warrior shit. He made history. Uh, he's already in the record books. He's already a Hall of, Hall of Fame uh, mixed martial artist. He's a samurai, and I appreciate him, and I respect him for that. I thank him for that. So, salute to, uh, salute to Max Holloway, and salute to Gus Justin Gaethje, because, uh, again... I believe the same thing he just said. If Justin Gaethje was up, he would have gave me them 10 seconds. You know what I mean? So like old soul said, respect to them two warriors.